What's going on guys? This is Web Dev Journey and welcome back to a brand new recipe of chicken feet. Um, today we are going to be talking about uh, linking pages to other routes. I guess linking routes to other pages, okay? So if we want to go to the ad page, we want to go to the edit page, we want to do that stuff without the browser refreshing. Now, right now, currently, if you go to add, the browser will refresh. You saw that little icon right there. It does refresh because it's tr it tries to connect to the server. The server obviously doesn't have the route add. So it goes back, gives us an index, comes back here and says, hey, here's the path of add. Let's spit out the component budget add, which is this. And there you have it, right? But it's still going to the browser, I mean, to the server side, which that's why it's giving us that refresh. We want to stop that. That's one problem. The second problem is that we do want to create a 404 page because if we go to test right now, what it does is it gives us a blank page. And the reason why is because route obviously doesn't have a test route, a path for test. So it's going to give us back an empty div, nothing inside of it, right? So we're going to tackle those two things right now. So first of all, let's create a 404 page. Right now I'm creating a stateless component. So const page not found. It's going to be equal to I'm going to get a div right there. Uh, I'm going to say 404 for right now. Control save. Now, we do need to add it as a route because we want it to look for that route, right? A specific route, which I'll get in a bit. Route. Now, route path is actually optional, okay? You don't have to actually have a path. What you do need to have is component, which equals to, and we're going to make this equal to the page not found now with where where are we having oh right here we need to end it now what what this does is actually god since we don't have a path this route is always going to be true so if you go to slash add now we got we get our ad page or component but we also get the 404 because like i said this is always true now we want to stop this. We want to only show 404 when we don't have a specific route. Now, how do we exactly do that? You can do it uh, in iffy way with the exact attribute, but thank God or thank React, it has a component for us that does this for us, and that is called Switch. Now, Switch is in charge of. What switch takes in is children of routes. So we're going to actually encapsulate all the routes with the switch component. Grab this, exit, paste. Okay. So now that we encapsulated switch and all these things, switch is in charge of saying, hey, if it matches this path, let's not move on to the next route. And this is what's going to help us. Like you see right now, we don't have that 404 no more. The reason why is because it looks at this path and says, okay, this is not it. Let's look at this path. Okay, this is it. We're going to stop right here. We're not going to move on to the next one. If we didn't have switch, it would keep on going, keep on going until we ran out of routes. And it will just keep on going until we hit all routes and then done. All right. So this is how we prevent that from happening, having this switch, which is really, really helpful. Okay. Now, the second thing is, it still actually refreshes, edit. See, it still actually refreshes the page. So now we got to tackle that. So the way we're going to do that, or the way we're going to explore it is React Router has this component for us, link. Now, link is a component that helps us to not have this problem of refreshing the browser. And we could actually explore it down here. In 404, if we get a 404, we're gonna explore going to the home page. So I'm gonna say the A tag for now, right? href is going to be equal to forward slash, which is home, home. Control save. Now let's go to that 404 page test. Now we have this home right here. If we click on it, obviously you're gonna get the page refresh we don't want that instead of using the link tag we use the I mean the a tag we use the link tag and instead of the href attribute we use to attribute now if you go back to the test 
it's going to give us a refresh because all these routes are still we're not we're not aiming at these routes right now we're aiming just for it for the link tag to stop that refresh all right so now we go to the home page we don't have that refresh no more see that that's pretty awesome that's pretty neat now to actually help help us out with the routes react has a, another component called called nav link control save so you can do it with link you could just route everything with link once again but i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you that you could do it so we're gonna create a header a header is obviously going to be uh, on top of every single page so let's create a stateless component const i'm gonna call mine header obviously And we're going to spit out a div, or actually not a div, a header. And this is not, this header uh, tag isn't a React component. Uh, notice the lowercase h is actually an HTML5. And in here, we're going to just simply say h1. We're going to say budget snob. And this is where we're going to actually use the link tag. So let's actually use the link tag for now. And then we're going to talk about the nav link. Link tag, link tag, link tag. And we only have three links because we only have three routes. So the first one's going to home. The second one's going to add, uh, slash add. And the last one is going to edit. Add. Ah, screw it. Edit. Okay, control save. Oh, and we need to call it the header. So you might be wondering where exactly are we going to put this header component? We don't want it in the switch because it's not a route. It's actually a component. And we want this component to be shown on all pages, the home page, the added page, and the edit page. So that's a simple fix. We just need to put it right above the switch. Right here, we're going to call the header. And this is going, this is going to give us that header on all pages. Refresh, there it is. Then we got home, add. I need to do this uppercase. That's going to bother me. Control save, add, edit. So if you go to the add, see that? Edit, no refresh, no refresh, but we do go to the to the actual page that we want to, which is pretty, pretty awesome. But React gives us another component. I talked about it, which is nav link. Now, nav link gives us a little bit more feature. It's exactly the same thing as link but with a little bit more oomph to it. You know what I'm talking about? It gives it a little bit more features. So instead of link, I'm actually going to use nav link for the first one. So nav link. Now if we use nav link. It still does the exact same thing as link. See that? Just no refresh, but we could actually use a feature with it or an attribute. And that attribute is called activate class name. And we're going to give it a class name of is active control save in our CSS styles, our style CSS. Actually, our base is we're importing base right here. I'm just going to say dot dot is active and we're going to just set set it to font weight to bold. OK, that is it. Okay, so now we actually go to home or sorry, it's not activate, it's active. Active class name control save. There you go, we got home. But check it out. If you go to the ad, we go to the ad, but it's not it's not going to the uh even if we, we can't add this feature or this attribute to the link, it only works with nav link. So I'm actually do this for the rest of them. And I'm actually going to do this with right here as well paste paste control save so we got we go to home home is bolded add add is bolded edit edit is bolded you might be you might be noticing well why is home bolded and that's because it has the same features as route does as in it's just going to keep on looking until say hey is it the does it have a forward slash yes it does okay bold it does it have a forward slash add? No, it doesn't. Does it have a forward slash 
edit. Yes, it does edit. And we don't we don't want to run into that situation. <laughs> what we want to do is no, it's not the switch. Actually, we want to use this. The exact true. Navlink has that, so that way we could actually use it right here. Paste, Control Save. Now you see that it's unbolded. We go to Add Bolded Home. It's bolded. Now, like I said, React Router. React Router has a lot of, our, our nav link has a lot of features that we can add, like right here. Link has these attributes that we could add, and nav link has these attributes that we could add. So you might just want to look in here and play around with what can do what, but yes, nav link is used for basically for navigations, and link is just used for links outside, like to go home or you want to go to a specific other page that is not an actual page. It's somewhere in a page. That's where you would go to or do with. But in simple terms, these two components, the link and nav link hijack the, the browser's way of doing things. It just prevents the default of the browser and takes over, which is not giving us that refresh, which is what we want is client side rendering. Well, that's, that's exactly what we want. So that's going to be for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you actually learned something from it. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to organize our routes and actually query strings and URL parameters. So, Look forward to that, um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.